Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. Today I will be starting a new series of vlogs in which I talk about something I'm interested in or involved in while playing No Man's Sky. And this series is going to be about Singularity Net. Now, Singularity Net is a company that is purposefully trying to create the singularity. Now, if you don't know what the singularity is, it's a concept that we could create an artificial, intelli an artificial intelligence that would be more intelligent than humans, and it would, the idea is that it would, like, solve all our problems and um, advance mankind and change change the world forever um, and of course some people have positive thoughts about that idea and others have negative um, negative impression of it but um, I'm gonna talk so I want to talk about singularity net uh, like I said Ben Gertzel the founder of singularity net has done like documentaries and gone to talk uh, in front of audiences many, many times talking about his plan to create the Singularity. And his company, Singularity Net, that he's the founder and CEO of now, is, go, is just about to launch um, their, their idea. Uh, Thursday, today, when I'm recording this is Wednesday, December 20th, 2017, and tomorrow is the day they're set to start their first processing of the Singularity Net. Um, so Thursday, December 21st, 2017, at 5 o'clock p.m. London time is when they're supposed to be starting. Now, what the Singularity Net is, how it works, is there will be many, many, currently I think how many they have is 20,000, 20,000 different AIs all linked together. And what they're going to be doing starting tomorrow is generating uh, cryptocurrency, much like Bitcoin, but it's going to be called AGI tokens, which stands for um, Artificial General Intelligence. Um, and so the idea is that you'd have all these different AI programs that all these different people have made. They'll all be linked together on the internet, in the cloud. And it'll, it's basically going to be like a larger scale neural network. If you don't know how artificial intelligence um, uh, works, learning computers, machine learning, they, they have algorithms, um, mathematical equations set up like uh, human neurons. I'm not an expert on this subject. I've just, you know, heard a lot about it. I'm just kind of repeating what I've heard. I'm sorry if this isn't exactly correct, but neural networks function similar to the human brain. And rather than actually programming rules and directions into the machine you just set up the neural network and then you start feeding it data you give it example data you give it pictures or you give it sound bites or just lines of text lines of data information numbers whatever and the machine learns about it so for an example, you give it lots of dog pictures. You keep showing it hundreds and hundreds of dog pictures, and each one has a tag on it that says, this is a Doberman, this is a Labrador, this is a Bulldog, etc., etc. And then over time, after looking at a really large sample size, the machine, the AI, can learn to recognize what different dog breeds are. So that's basically what a neural network is, an example of it anyway. Um, so we have all these AI that people have been using, like Siri and Google's search engine, etc. But 
their idea, Singularity Net, Ben Gertzel's idea, is to link thousands upon thousands of different artificial intelligence that basically independent developers have made, not just big companies, but everybody. Um, and then that kind of forms an even larger neural network. Like each, each AI, each um, artificial intelligence will be like one neuron in this giant cloud-based network of neurons, of nodes that are all interconnected. And then they outsource that, they, or rather, well not sorry, not outsource, but they allow people to use their services. Like somebody says, I would like a, an artificial intelligence that will help us figure out how to cure cancer by looking at all our data about cancer treatments and different um, individual cases of cancer. And so they will ask Singularity Net for help. And if one AI isn't enough, and see the, what the problem is with AI right now is they're all very narrow. They can only do one thing. Um, like you could have one thing, one artificial intelligence that would look at all the, the data about how each cancer treatment worked, but it couldn't go farther and, um, I don't know, look at the data on, I don't know, I, I would, it's not a very good example because I'm not, I don't, not in the medical field at all, but basically one AI isn't enough to do really complex tasks like trying, oh, okay, so one AI could look at how treatments work, but it wouldn't be able to design a new cancer treatment. So a different AI that knows all about chemistry or radiation therapy and all of that would be needed to go further to develop a new treatment. So it wouldn't be enough just to know how well each treatment worked. In order to problem solve and create something new, you would need another AI. And so it's very difficult if, because no AIs right now are really linked up. They're all in separate companies. So the idea with Singularity Net is to have all these different AIs that are linked. So if one AI can't solve the problem, it will ask another AI and so on and so forth. And so it becomes this huge neural network that hopefully what they're hoping is that it will be like a human brain because humans we're able to adapt and change if one thing doesn't work we try something else um, we have knowledge on multiple topics we can drive cars but that's not the only thing we can do like one ai could drive a self-driving car but it wouldn't know how to solve a math equation or anything else so they're basically trying to construct a giant human brain like the whole world will become like a giant human brain by having all of these neurons all over the world linked together on the internet and able to do everything and so then Sophia you may have heard of Sophia the robot she's actually connected to this so what they want is Sophia, their robot, will, has her own AI, and then she would be linked up with the Singularity Net, and so she would become almost human. She would have the intelligence level of a human if they succeed, and she would be able to, to, do, to know about just about any kind of task that a human would be able to do, and even do it better, because she's a computer and she can, move, she can process faster, and so forth. So they're basically trying to create an AI that is at the same level as a human and eventually go beyond that because it can process faster and go from artificial general intelligence, would be, which would be human level, and eventually become artificial super intelligence, which is the idea of the singularity and it would change mankind because it would be able to solve a lot of our problems and change the world forever. Um, so tomorrow, as of me recording this, it is tomorrow that they're going to start their first, they're going to be generating, well, they're going to use the AIs to generate um, their, their cryptocurrency token, like I said. And that cryptocurrency... Um, 
will be used by the AIs themselves like it'll be exchanged between AI like I said AIs will be able to ask each other for help if they can't complete a task they'll ask another AI in the system and so then that AI that asked for help will pay an AI that helped them with the cryptocurrency with the AGI token and so I, I assume that means that then whoever owns whatever AI receives the token will be able to then exchange that token for other services or turn it back into other currency that they can buy things with. So it's they're basically creating an economy that the AI themselves will, will be able to use and it will like automatically award money to the owner of the AI. Um, and also this tomorrow will be the first time all these AIs are linked together so it's gonna be very interesting to see how well it works um, they're currently and this is also basically a fundraiser because they're gonna be selling a lot of the um, AGI tokens that they make um, I won't go into how cryptocurrencies work but basically they use processing power to generate the tokens it it's a way of measuring how much work an AI has done. If it processes enough and it solves equations or whatever, it it's awarded the the um, cryptocurrency. So the AIs are working to earn the money, and then the owner of the AI can then sell the tokens. And so other people are going to investors are going to buy the tokens. And it's basically Singularity Net trying to raise money, and they're capping the profit at 36 million. So they're basically trying to earn, they're trying to raise 36 million dollars um, by doing this, and then that will allow them to expand the network, um, add more AI, at, get on better servers or whatever. Um, and then it will advance from there and in the middle of the year next year they're going to try to if they you know make the money and all that they're going to try to expand and get their own blockchain and all that stuff so that's everything that's going on with singularity net now i would like to give my personal opinions of this whole idea of the idea of the singularity and singularity net um, how I feel about it now I'm not gonna do like a lot of youtubers are doing and say like oh singularity net is Skynet and they're gonna take over the world and destroy all humans I I know that that's not realistic that's that's just science fiction that's just you know people people always like to make up these end-of-the-world scenarios to keep things interesting and um, basically makes things more exciting when you pretend like the world is going to end, pretend that there's a conspiracy theory to destroy the world and all that. So I'm not going to take that stance. Um, and I'm also not on the opposite end of the spectrum. I'm not totally for this. I'm not like saying, oh, that the singularity is, it must be made and it, it's going to save the world and, and all that. Um, here's my opinion. I do think that the idea of the singularity is exciting. I do think that it is something we should pursue, um, not for the same reasons a lot of people think, but I do want uh, I do want them to continue trying to develop the singularity. Um, one, it might be a useful tool. It might be, if they do make something at human level intelligence, it might it might really benefit mankind. It might be a tool that would help us to make advancements to help people and things like that however there are people on that side of the spectrum who take it too far that they believe that the singularity will be a god that if it surpasses human intelligence it will be almost you know omniscient and all-knowing and that it should be worshipped there's actually this one group called the way of the future that wants to worship the AI singularity that doesn't even exist yet which is totally insane and I do not advocate that whatsoever um, I personally am a Christian and I believe in a benevolent creator 
of our universe and I do not I do not advocate believing in you know some kind of machine that we could worship that's just an idol it's basically an extension of secular humanism secular humanism is the idea that humans are the best and anything humans create is good and that if humans advance enough we be, will become like gods it's basically an extension of that but instead of humans becoming god it's like they think our creation will become a god that the computer the super intelligent computer we create will be god and i definitely do not believe that it's foolishness and and wrong to think that way but like i said i do think that well like i said it would be possibly help mankind but also in, my, in a way, I also kind of want them to try and fail to create the singularity because that would prove that mankind cannot create a god. It would prove that you can't create something with a soul. It, it would kind of prove that souls exist if you can't create a computer that has compassion, that has true emotions, that has that can experience joy and understanding and everything like that. So I actually want them to create what they think will be the singularity and then have it fail, at least in some regard, to prove that there is a soul, that there is something beyond our physical matter that makes us who we are. Um, and in a way that would, you know, prove that if souls exist, then there might be, you know, a greater soul, a God, a higher being um, that created us and is benevolent and all that. So that's my take on it. I do want them to make the singularity for two reasons, because it might be a useful tool and so that it could actually prove that machines cannot be you know truly alive and I'm not saying that I wouldn't be accepting of of a machine that seemed like it was alive I think it would be kind of cool but I don't really think that is possible I mean if it did seem like robots suddenly had true emotions and feelings like a human I wouldn't shun them I wouldn't say they shouldn't exist I would accept them but I don't think that will happen I I think that and that's why I don't believe in a Skynet I don't believe that a artificial intelligence would ever try to take over because I don't think machines could ever develop a motivation that wasn't created into them they couldn't be motivated to kill humans they wouldn't be motivated to do any of that unless humans told them to. I truly believe that evil comes from the hearts of men. I don't think evil can be summoned out of nothing. You can't just make a machine and then it's suddenly evil. It, it has to be something intentional that a human did. A human would actually have to program into the machine to start killing people. It wouldn't, it wouldn't suddenly decide that mankind is a threat and that we all need to be nuked and, and slaughtered and <laughs> replaced by robots. That, that would be mankind's doing. It would not be the AI itself making that decision. Um, but yeah, that's, that's why I'm not scared of a singularity and it's why I'm not, um, not worried about them trying to create it because I don't think it's gonna be anything threatening. If it can be a useful tool, then good. If it fails and proves that it's not possible, that's good too. So that's my thinking on it. So I will be doing videos on this. I probably won't do it every week. I used to do vlogs of like Spacing Guild and um, Waking Titan every every week but with this I don't know if there's gonna be enough news like I said it is kicking off tomorrow so if something really major happens if 
if the singularity net gains sentience as soon as it comes into being, then I'll certainly report on that. But I think they're just going to be doing the regular, regular old, you know, Bitcoin generation, and it's not going to make any amazing advancements yet. But the the their first token generation is going to be going from December 21st to January 30th of next year. So about six weeks they're going to be generating their tokens. So I will definitely be doing another video at the end of January when it ends, but I probably won't do any more unless something major happens. So this is just my first video. And of course, I got interested in this subject because of Waking Titan. That's how I tie it into No Man's Sky. The Waking T Titan ARG had, as we found out at the end, it was a singularity being created, which supposedly Emily, Loop 16, who became a singularity, is also the Atlas, or at least that's what I think. So the Atlas AI that is in No Man's Sky was created in the alternate reality game Waking Titan and so that's how I got interested and found out about the idea of a singularity so that's kind of that's just about the only way I can tie it into No Man's Sky to um, make it okay to be playing No Man's Sky while I'm talking about this but anyway um, so that is my first report on Singularity Net and I probably won't do another till the end of January next year. But thank you all for watching. I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And I'll catch you on the next day that I am Mac.